Welcome back to 7 News. The time right now, 540. Let's continue our zip trips to Blacksburg this morning and head back out to 7 News. is Fred Cunningham, who's live there with a little bit more of the history. Fred, good morning. Good morning, Kelsey. That is absolutely correct. You know, from railroads to manufacturing, Blacksburg has seen it all over the years. 7 News' Stephen Ruffing has more on the Iron City. The town got the Iron City nickname because of the King's Mountain Iron Mill in the early 1800s. This was built by Major Jones in about 1890. Will Cobb is a local historian. He says Blacksburg was originally named Black Station in the 1870s in honor of Dr. J.G. Black. Cobb says Dr. Black persuaded Major John Jones to establish the town's railway. A railway that helped build the town we know today. Most of the people that moved here were moved, they moved after the war between the states and they were looking for a new start. Um, obviously, the railroad was coming through and that really got a lot of the families to first move here. Black Station was renamed to Blacksburg in the 1880s, but we're told it was Major Jones who was one of the biggest assets to the town. A veteran of the Civil War, Major Jones was originally from Massachusetts and fought with the North. Most of Blackburg's population at that time were Confederate veterans. You know, they really took Major Jones in and they welcomed him and that was, I mean, that was really a big part of Blacksburg's history. He built a large hotel here, he built a park, he built the first school, he did a lot of stuff for the town. Blacksburg is known as the Iron City, but throughout the years, industries changed from one thing to another. After King's Mountain Iron Mill was abandoned, a man named Jacob Dill built Cherokee Falls Manufacturing Company in the late 1870s and early 1880s. It remained Cherokee Falls Manufacturing Company probably sometime 20s and 30s, and it went through maybe a couple hands, but it eventually ended up with Burlington Industries, which was one of the largest textile plants in the southeast. Cobb says the town continued to prosper until the 1950s after the interstate was built. Now, the historian that knows so much about the past looks to the future. He hopes to see it grow and prosper once more. You know, we're in a really good spot. I mean, we're halfway between Greenville and Charlotte. I think that location-wise, in the next 20, 30 years, it has to grow sometime. In Blacksburg, Stephen Ruffing, 7 News. Cobb says it is, uh, Blacksburg is a town where everybody knows everybody. He calls it a good town with good people. Well,